Okay, uh, finally made it to Richland Creek uh, about three o'clock today. Uh, met Robbie. Robbie's over here, and we just got finished. There he is, right there. <laughs> we just got finished eating dinner and just kind of talking and shooting the breeze a little bit. Uh, Falling Water Creek is right down there. Uh, the Buffalo River is kind of low right now, which will be good because he's got to cross over Woolham. I have to cross over Richland, and uh, we want the water to be low then. So looks like that's going to work out. I got my hammock set up over here for tonight. So should be nice and comfortable there as far as that goes. So tomorrow the plan is to leave about 7 a.m. and uh, go as far as we can. Uh, Rob's got to go the full length to Woolham. I'm probably going to go 14 or so uh, miles tomorrow, get as far as I can uh, tomorrow and then Monday, get as far as I can so I can have a short day on Tuesday and get in uh, and get back to my truck. So that's kind of the plan uh, for now. Uh, it's about, how cold do you think it is? About 40? Yeah, about 40. About 40 degrees, going to drop down to probably 35 later this evening. So I'm uh, using my hammock and I haven't used it very much. I got the both the quilts, the top and bottom quilts. Uh, so I'm hoping all it all works out. Stay warm. That's why I brought it because I knew it was going to be cold in these in these hollows down here. But anyway, we're looking forward to tomorrow, and it's supposed to be sunny. What? Fifty-two, I think. Fifty-two. Somewhere around there. And sunny and I think like maybe even close to 60 on Tuesday. I think Tuesday is supposed to be the really warm day. So I'll take it. But and uh, Patrick, I'm going to get him to do the whole 20 with me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it could happen. I mean, you may you may finish it two. I may finish the whole 20 at five. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's what, two miles an hour. 10 hours, 10 right? Hours. Seven to, you know. You'd have to set up in the dark. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to set up in the dark. Not good. Okay, well, I'll post, not post, but I'll record some more tomorrow. And I didn't bring my GoPro like I normally do. I didn't want to carry it. I've already got enough electronics. I've got the phone. I've got my inReach. I have my GPS. So that's three devices right there and two battery packs. I didn't want to bring GoPro batteries and GoPro cameras. It was just too much. So I'm going to skip that and just use my phone for this trip and get as, and get what I can. All right. So that's all for now. And I'll talk to you later. It is Saturday. What? December? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sorry. Sunday, December. What? What's today? The 20th, 20th 21st. Something, something, like something like that. And we're leaving Richland Creek campground. We are headed out this morning. It's a little after seven. And I'm carrying a four day food haul, which is not fun. So my pack is probably about 30 pounds. Rob's is about 20. Maybe 15. <laughs> 15. <laughs> I, I'm jealous. But uh, we're gonna hike together for as long as we can. It's about 30, 33 degrees or so, maybe 34. Got cold last night, at least for me. But uh, it's gonna be a nice day, it's supposed to be some sunshine. So we're gonna try, to, I'm gonna try to do 15 today. Rob's gotta do the full 19 or 20, get to Woolen to meet his ride. <sighs> so I think I'm closer to 21. 21? Yeah. Really? Wow. Well, we'll see what right. we can do. Yeah. <clears throat> Got to go down here and cross the bridge. You know where the trail picks up? Yeah. Across the bridge. Across the bridge on the right. Yeah. 
I knew it was on the right side, I just didn't know exactly where. Okay, well, we're approaching the five mile mark or thereabout, and just left a nice waterfall area. Doing a lot of rock hopping this morning, and there's a lot of frozen thin ice on the rocks and on the tree branches. Uh, I stepped on a down tree and slipped because of the ice on there. So, really got to watch your step. It's still chilly. It's probably in the upper 30s by, by now, mid to upper 30s. What, what's the temperature? 37. 37. So, I still got my jacket on and my base layer. So, I don't know what the high today Maybe 45, 50 if we're lucky. We'll see. But our next big stop will be at uh, Stack Rock. We're, we're near there. So, any comments, Rob? No, just enjoying the sunlight for the first time in a while. <laughs> yeah, he's been out here several days. And not a whole lot of sunlight, so you've been fighting the elements, the cold and the wind and the rain, the snow. So probably the nicest day in nine days. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's the latest. We'll catch up with you later. Just now leaving Stack Rock after about eight miles. Uh, so far so good. My pack is still real heavy. I can feel my, my knees starting to have a little bit of an issue. There have been lots of rocks, especially in the first uh, four or five miles. A lot of rock hopping and uh, kind of walking on the side of, of the trail. Well, the, the hill slants and so you lose, uh, you're not walking on flat ground, so that's irritating my knees, but more than anything, it's, it's the weight uh, and the rocks combined are really starting to feel it. So, but it's about a little after 10 o'clock. We started at seven, so we've been on trail for, oh, three, almost three hours. I guess we started at 7.15, so almost three hours, a little, a little over eight miles, shade over eight, not bad. But uh, Rob's behind me, he had to, he had cell service up there, so he was talking to his ride at Woolham. So, but yeah, I can feel it on the downhill. I can feel my, my knees starting to give me a little bit of a problem. So, hopefully, uh, won't be anything serious but anyway that's all we got uh, coming down to a creek area here but I'm gonna try to go another seven miles today my knees will let me hopefully they will find a place to camp near a creek or something and uh, get this weight off my back give my knees a chance to recover uh, coming up on a creek right now. Let's see here. A lot of water. I'm just hoping Richland Creek isn't too deep to cross. I guess I'll find out. I may have to strip down and cross in my underwear in the freezing water. But, hey, been in freezing water before, so... Nothing new. All right, guys. I'll talk to you probably around mile 10, 12, somewhere in there. Uh, well, hello, boys and girls. I am now at about the 14 and a half mile mark. And I'm starting to look for a place to camp. There was a place up there. Uh, and there's water right here. It's a pretty good spot. It's 1.40 in the afternoon, and there's another water source on up, so 
It's about mile marker 158. And that will give me a solid 15, maybe even 15 plus miles today. The, ah, take this off. The trail, I was not expecting this, is very rocky. And it has really uh, taken a lot out of my knees. They're just really sore right now, and it's really slowing me down. Yeah, I'm not injured or anything. It's just my knees are taking a pounding. I mean, after all, I've gone almost 15 miles with a 30-pound, 30 31-pound pack. So it's uh, not surprising. I'm only human. Uh, speaking of superhumans, uh, Rob... Uh, he separated from me about mile marker 10 and that's kind of where we anticipated we would part ways so he had to meet his ride at Woolham I'm a I'm just looking for a camp spot I'll do 15 miles today and what else and then tomorrow Probably, uh, I don't know, it depends on how my knees feel. I'll do at least 10, but I may have to shorten up a little bit on Monday. And okay, this trail is, I wish you could see these rocks I'm walking on. It is just crappy, man. It's slow and it just takes. Oh, takes it out of you. A lot of balancing. You burn a lot of energy trying to keep your balance. But anyway, as I was saying, tomorrow, 10 miles. Maybe it may be just a short day. Do 10 miles and kind of rest my legs. And, and then Tuesday, give it another big push. Either finishing Tuesday night, or if I want to, just camp out another night. I mean, I did bring enough food for that. Again, it all depends on how my how my legs feel. It's so strange. I haven't had knee problems for, gosh, years. And all of a sudden, on this trail section, it just, wow. So that gives you a good indication of how rocky this trail is. If it can give me knee problems, it's a uh, it's something to think about. Anyway, so far so good. Really enjoying being out here. I think I'm in the Gene Rush Wildlife Management Area. I've <laughs> it's a funny story. Uh, we were hiking a few miles back, and uh, I look up the trail. And I see a guy sitting down. I mean, I hadn't seen anybody out here, man. You're out in the wilderness. Nobody's out here. So he's sitting down. You know, I was like, why is that dude sitting down? And then I realized the dude was taking a dump. So I stopped and I turned around. And, I'm, and Rob goes, what's wrong? And I pointed back. And... Uh, so we hung back and let the guy finish his business. So it's kind of funny. I mean, of all the times someone to walk up on you, that's, you know, that happens then. So it's just kind of a funny, funny story. Turns out when we caught up with the guy, Rob actually knew him. And they were talking because he had been on trail for a while. So it was kind of a funny, funny meeting. Anyway. I'll quit blathering on here. Uh, man, this trail is rocky. I just, oh, drives me nuts. Anyway, I'll quit complaining, and I'll see you guys at camp. Well, hey, everybody. Um, I am set up at Woolham today, tonight, I should say. It's uh, about 5.30. I did close to 22 miles today. That is a personal best. Um, my legs are tired. My knees gave me some problems. Um, 
for about four miles between the 12 and 16 mark. And that was primarily because of the rocks. The rocks were just uh, horrible. And it reminded me of the Wa uh, Washita Trail section one. Not as bad, but it just just puts uh, such a pounding on your legs. It's just uh, really tough. So uh, I guess it took me about nine hours, something like that, with a 30, 31 pound pack on. And um, I got to Woolham and then I looked over here, I'm actually camped by uh, the confluence of the Buffalo River and Richland Creek. I'm over on the Richland Creek side. I gotta cross that tomorrow, I gotta go upstream, there's a shoal and I have to have to go across that and um, climb uh, up to Point Peter and uh, make the uh, trek back to Tyler Bend. It's only 15 miles. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to push all 15. It, it really depends on my legs, how my legs feel. And if my legs feel fine, I guess I could do that. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be screaming at me. So I may just do a short day, um, 8, 10 miles, and then finish up on Tuesday. There's there's no reason to push all 15 tomorrow. Um, there's not, but um, I haven't decided yet. But yeah, 20, 21 point something miles tonight, today I should say. And uh, I'm beat, I'm very tired. And, uh, but uh, I'm happy I did it because that's gonna save me a lot of time tomorrow. So that's the, that's the, on the upside. I just hope my legs aren't spaghetti tomorrow. Uh, I don't think they will be. I've done long distances before and then uh, the next day they were fine. But you never know. We'll just see how they respond. Okay. Here I am at Richland Creek. And I've got a crossover up there so i got to make my way around. And then on over there and up the hill and then onward. So let's see, gotta find my way up here through all this crap. Oh, what a mess. There briars everywhere. Oh. Okay, my knee is feeling a little better. But it's very, very tender. I guess I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna hit to that little shoal there. But there is a lot of muck, and I'll tell you what though, forget that. I'm just gonna go in here. I'm not stepping in all that muck right there, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone away because I don't want to drop it. So I'll see you on the other side.
Well, good afternoon. It is about 3.30 Monday, and I left Woolham this morning late on purpose. I left, I guess, about 9.15, and my knee was really bothering me then. Um, it was a rough day yesterday. It wasn't so much the distance, it was more the terrain and the weight I was carrying. So it really did a number on my knees. Uh, this is one, OHT Section 8 is one really uh, rocky trail, and I didn't, didn't expect that, and it really did a number on my, uh, on my knees, especially my left knee. I didn't uh, injure anything. It's more of a, uh, of, of a soreness, but it got to the point uh, today where it was just too, too sore to put any weight on it, uh, so I only made it seven miles. And I found this little spot up here. I'm dry camping on top of this ridge, but I've got an awesome view. And I'll show you that right now. It's right down there. It's uh, of the valley. And it's really pretty. Last night at Woolham, I got out of my tent about 4 in the morning and looked up. And there was nothing but clear skies and stars everywhere. So I imagine I'll get a uh, repeat performance of that tonight. I hope so. Now this is what I'm sleeping in tonight. There is my hammock. I have finally been able to dial in my under quilt in such a way as to make sure it doesn't get any drafts in there. So I had a little bit of a problem with that Saturday night. Uh, but Sunday night I figured it out and it works so it works great now so that's good uh, there's my food what's left of my food and hanging my pack up here tonight I'll here's my bear bag I will hang that somewhere over there and get it get it away from me I don't want anything wandering in uh, last night it was kind of funny there was I heard all kinds of animals. Uh, I heard coyotes for sure. They were all over the place and heard some birds and I heard something in this field right next to me and it went on all night and then it shut off in the morning. It was, it was very odd. It's the only thing I know to compare it to was if you had two deer uh, with antlers who were fighting each other. It sounded like antlers rattling. But that's not what it was. It, 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 it would go all around this field. It sounded almost mechanical, but I'm, I'm thinking, what, what, would, what would that be? I, I had no idea, so I'm still scratching my head on that. This morning, I saw a deer about, I don't know, 8 o'clock, 8.30. Uh, and then before that, I heard a, I think it may have been a fox on the other side of Richland Creek. So... Uh, all sorts of wildlife. I heard birds, all sorts of things. Uh, there was at one point, I think it was an armadillo moving around. I flashed my light out there to see what what it was and never saw anything, but it, it eventually moved off. So I don't know. I'm thinking tonight will be a lot quieter. I hope it is. I, I don't know about the wind. I'm on top of this mountain ridge, sorry, and I, it hasn't been windy today. I hope it's not windy because that wind blowing up through here could get, uh, could get cold. They're expecting a low around 30, 37, 38, something like that. But that's not till like four or five in the morning. And then it's supposed to warm up quickly. So all in all, it's been a good trip. I just wish my knee was, was cooperating, but that's what happens. Uh, you know, you, you have injuries and I, I suffered through seven miles of, peg legging my way through this trail I had four big climbs I wasn't expecting that but I think I'm kind of on the downhill slide I think I may have one one or two climbs tomorrow I got I don't know eight miles so but I think there's only maybe two at most three and they're not I don't even think they're that big of a, of a climb but I've been wrong about that before so we'll see how that goes but it's just a beautiful night out here uh, overlooking the Buffalo uh, River and it's just so, so nice. Not a soul around. There's a lot of peace 
a lot of peace and quiet. So I'm, I'm super enjoying this. Uh, it's a, it's a lot of fun. All right. Okay. That's all I got for you today and I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully at my truck. Talk to you then. Good morning, everybody. It's a little after 8 AM. Uh, I got up and packed up about seven. Well, I hit the trail at seven, got up about, I don't know, six something and, uh, packed up, got on trail and got a little more light and I've been following the ridge lines. There's been two good climbs so far and I have finally made it to the BRT, uh, Peter cave road or something like that. So now it's, it's just like it is, uh, on section eight. You have to road walk a long ways. This is going to be probably, I don't know, five miles today. But I tell you what, you know, I haven't been able to bend my left knee for, I don't know, the, the last 18, 20 miles. I don't know what it is, but this road walking is actually uh, not my favorite thing. But under these circumstances, I'll take it. Because I can keep my legs straight. I don't have to uh, trip over a bunch of rocks and things like that. So it's not exciting, but it is very welcome with a person or for a person whose knee just won't bend. <laughs> so anyway, all is well. It's just going to be a slow process. But I'll get there. Just by sheer determination, if nothing else. Oh, great. I got to go up this hill. Fun, fun. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Next time, I'll see you. Tyler Ben, okay? Take care. Have a good day.